Get past everybody. So today is the day that I've been waiting for for a while. Eh, about a month or so. So today we are going to do or finish the uh, disc brakes up on the Impala. This is a 66 Impala. So as you can see on the last video, uh, I took everything apart, cleaned it, painted it. We're going to re remove that rotor. We don't need it. Or the hub. So. Those are the old parts. We already did this side too. Cleaned everything up, painted it, removed that hub. We don't need it. But we're not going to throw it away. We're going to save it. So these are the parts that I'm using right here. This is... There it is, the part number, D1, oh, you can read it right there, whatever. Brake, bracket, three-quarter spindle nut, Sapa. hopefully it fits. But, yeah, this kit is for a 65 to a 69, I think. I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. Got out that off of eBay. And then these rotors that I'm using... This kit said I need a 70 Chevelle rotors. So you got one, two. I got those off of Summit. New lug nuts. And this kit, I bought it. Uh, I bought it all myself, like full price. I'm not sponsored by nobody. I'm just took me about two weeks to put it together. And uh, this is the right caliper. There's the part number. That's the left caliper. That's the part number. That's the left caliper. Comes with the nut, little bracket. And these are off of a, or they're for a 70 Camaro. Right there. And I also got the brake hose that corresponds to these calipers. You need two of those. There's the part number. And these are also for a 70 Camaro caliper. And then I bought all the little uh, bearings and races or whatnot. So you need two for the back of the rotor, which is right there. That's the part number. So these two. And then you need these two for the front of the rotor, which is right there. Those two. And then this is the seal that keeps the back ones in. You got two. Here's the part number for that one. Or if you want to go to Napa and get it. Part number for that one. Alright, so now. I haven't even opened this box up yet. So, uh, everything's still nicely packaged. So I'm opening it up right now with you guys and see the brackets that it comes with. But, oh, this is CPP brand. Look at that. Nice. Alright, so we got a CPP uh, brake kit. So let me uh, put you guys on a tripod and open this thing up. Alright, so let's open this thing up see what it comes with. That's all that comes with the package. Well, that was in the package. They got these two brackets. Beefy. And then you got these. There's another bracket right there. Bolts. Nice. CPP. Sweet. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright. Let's 
this for. I don't know if you guys need that part number, but there it is right there. Instructions. Hope. Oh. more stickers. Nice. All right, so we got no instructions. Get me hope. Maybe in here. Sure. So so far I don't see instructions. Hopefully they're in that bag. If not, then we're gonna wing it. Ahorita. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me get everything ready over here. Take the hub off, clean it, and then uh, we'll get to it. A ver qué. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right, so I finished opening it the little bags that were with it and they came with that those are the castle nuts that hold the rotor on that's the part number and on that bag there's another also another little bracket spacers those and this bolt for the other uh i don't know what these hold on but we'll find out figure it out and it does come with instructions right here so there's a, oh well there you go, 1955-58 Chevrolet car large caliper bracket, so. Uh, general torque, oh, torque specifications too. So just for the fart page. Alright, so I'm going to put you guys on a tripod and uh, start working. Alrighty, so as you can see, half of the parts are already missing. So, there it is. And uh, I started this side, did it on my own so I can learn how to put it together and to see if I ran into anything. But uh, this kit is pretty simple to install. I'm, I'm surprised. <sighs> Just don't be like me. I was so excited to put it on that I forgot to buy brake pads. So now I gotta go to the parts store and go get some brake pads for a 70 Camaro. So, but yeah, there it is. And remember, uh, these come with uh, some type of coating on them the rotor and the caliper so they don't rust during shipping or while they're stored. So remember to clean them up, brake cleaner, carb cleaner, whatever, those two, before you put on your brake pads. And make sure there's no grease around there. But uh, me, I'm going to take all this apart, the rotor and the caliper, so I can, uh, right here, I'm going to paint the rotor right here, this part. So I'm going to tape up this part where the brake pad rides on, and I'm going to paint this edge. And also gonna paint this part right here because uh, on my other truck, on my Silverado that's outside, I put new rotors and calipers and they rusted to shit. So I'm gonna take this out, paint this black, except for the brake pad part. Alright, don't do that on both sides, tape that up. And I'm gonna just clear the caliper. Just put clear on it because I like the, the silver color. Alright, so I'm going to put you guys on a tripod and do the other side and show you how it's done. Here we go. Alright, so you guys are all set up. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Really? Already forgot? Oh, well. Okay. I'll use these. Take that off. And on the kit, they supply this castle nut. And there's this washer in the back too, so that's nice. that to the side now we have to remove these bolts right here nuts and bolts for the steering knuckle so let's do that right now uh, 
Where's my torque wrench? Oh, I got my torque wrench. Dang it. Oh, it's broken. Here we go. Now we're ready. Uh, so when I was doing the other side, I bought these uh, bearings for the rotor, and they come with uh, the race bearings. You can press them on the rotor. But uh, when I t tried it on, this thing wouldn't go on because I put it on the rotor, and uh, I tried to put it on, and it wouldn't go on. And I was like, "What the heck?" So I took it off by itself and tried to go make it go in. But as you can see, it won't go in. So what I did is I grabbed the older one and I tried to put it on and it wouldn't go on either. And then I realized that I cleaned the shaft up so there was no grease right here. So it went, well that's one of the reasons it wouldn't go in. So once I greased the new one on, as you can see I can grab a little bit from here. You just wiggle it a little bit and once it's in, come on guy. Really? You're gonna make me look bad? There you go. <laughs> See? It's in there. So, uh, remember to grease them up a little bit so you can slap it on. So, there you go. And we'll leave it on there. Nah, we'll just take it off. I don't want to damage it. Really? Here we go. There it is. So, quick little, uh, FYI right there. I felt kind of stupid after, but whatever. Alright, here we go. So get our really? really 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 here we go. There it is. Three quarters. Three quarters. And I know you're not supposed to loosen anything up with the torque wrench, but uh oh well. This is my whatever one. to hit right there so I'm gonna put this right here a little bit. Oh it's gonna hit the air. <laughs> there And the kit, they also supply these right here. So that's all. That's good.
are both out now. And this thing is just wobbly, right? Ah, bueno, pariente. Here we go. Let's get the nuts and bolts. brackets and bolts so I wouldn't have to get up again. So here's one bracket. Here's another bracket, right? And these are all the supplied bolts. So what I did is I put the top one on first just so I won't lose it because I love losing stuff. So that one's gonna go right there. Do that there. Alright. So there's a long one, or, right? So I know that a long one and a short one go right here. So get a long one and a short one. And on these, they go from the back to the front. So like that. Come on, and like that. All right. And on the picture, it has this out on the picture. And this bracket goes like this, this towards the back. So let's put that on. Right there. Nuts and bolts. And this is all it comes with. It don't come with no washers, lock washers, or nothing. So I'm gonna just put it like that. All right. Now this one, obviously it's a big old hole right here, so that one's gonna go on the top. That's how I figured it out. And then, so I did that one on top. All right. Ooh, ooh. Really? My cabron, backwards. Backwards, huh? Try to. Do the other side first so I wouldn't look stupid and look at me. Already messing up. Come on, guy. Go on. I'm the lip better than Really? Alright, so. So this is for the bracket mount, because it's gonna mount towards the back. Alright. And they also supply this little spacer. Uh, another nut. So this nut, or bolt, I mean, is the same as this one in the front. So, I mean, you can use either one. So it's the same size as this one. This is only long one. And this one goes from the front to the back. So get your little spacer, throw it on there. Like so. Put on your bolt, I mean your nut. What the hell is wrong with me today? Jeez. And there you go. So that's uh, that's all the brackets that you need to install pretty much. And then now you just torque these, these, and these. I torque these to uh, 80 pounds, 80, 80, and this one to 120. And uh, yeah, so let me get that done. And I'll get back to you guys or let it running and just fast forward. Oh shit, moving everything. Did I move? Oh, we're still good. We're still good. Yeah, we're still good. Alright, here we go. Let me torque it. Right there, so I don't hit my bracket. There you go.
Now I'm going to snug this one up. I'm not going to tighten it all the way because I'd rather tighten this one first. So I'm going to just snug it up a little bit. Now let's do this one. That one's the 15 16 15 16 so. That one I put to 120. And I'm gonna check all this again with the other torque wrench, so don't worry. So 120. Scared of Flipping it. Hitting my knuckles on the ground. There we go. Now let's do this one. That one goes to 80. Well the paper on the paper it tells you the torque spec, so. So that's all the bracketry right there. That's it. So now we're going to get the rotor, the new bearings, and uh, throw it on there real quick. Just so I'm doing all this so you guys see what it takes to put it on, but I'm going to take it off again to clean it up and paint everything. Right, so here's the rotor, and when you buy these bearings for these rotors, they come with the race. Right? So. But the nice thing about Summit, and again, I'm not sponsored by them. They already have the race on these rotors. See? Right there. So, you don't need to put them on. So again, this rotor is uh, for a 70 Chevelle, all right, and the kit also comes with the castle nut and a washer. So remember, grease it up, and I'm just uh, putting this on for uh, now, oh, oh. see that's the problem I was having. I mean, it's good to know that it's snug. Alright, front one. Okay. And this one has a little key right there. You should put that on right. Castle nut. And these do not have to be tied at all. And then instructions, it tells you uh, how to tighten it, the procedure. So what they say is, tighten it, right? Just a little bit of wiggle room. It says you should not pass more than 12 foot pounds. All right, so. A little and just keep checking it me I'm gonna do this all over again because I'm gonna take off the rotor and paint everything clean this up because it still has all that um, coating that they put for it to not for it to not rust so it says do not go more than 12 foot pounds for this one all right and then you loosen it
and then make sure there's no wiggle. See this the wiggle? Wiggle. A little bit of wiggle. ¿Qué pasó? ¿En los niños? ¿En sal? No wiggle. Hola, mija. So, right there is still, it's nice, but it's still too tight. All right, so back it off one, right there, and then it'll be nice. Look at that. Can you give me the, the caliper one? Yeah, que Look at that. So if you were to tighten it a little more, it'll see that how quick it stops. All right, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Dame la hose, por favor. Mm -hmm. So remember. You do not have to be tight. Right there. It's, uh, it's still in the package uh, next to the caliper oh, box. Right yeah. Mm -hmm. right, so, remember. So here we go with this one. And again, it's got the coating. And this one says R. Well, that's nice to know. What? Why does it have this for? The other one's different. Huh. Oh, well. You fail. Why is it different? I don't know. On the other uh, caliper, it has a bigger bolt. Alright, here we go. So, remove this. Okay. What Have you seen the other side? No. It looks clean. Oh my god. How come the coating is different also? No, say like on this one it's more chromier. More What brand are they? They're the same brand. Ah, uh, different dude. Same brand, same I like uh better. parts store. Huh. I guess I'm the dumbass. Fucking tonto. <laughs> Are you trying to unscrew it? The threads are on the inside. So I just pushed in there. The kids are in the room, I think, watching something. I told you you wanted to go inside, she said no. Alright, so remember, guys, when you put a new caliper on, bleeder has to be up. Let's <laughs> put it on. No, I was so excited to put in this kit that I forgot to go get brake pads oh. or to order the brake pads. So I'll go in a little bit because I need to go get brake cleaner and the uh, paint también. So I'm just trying to do this real quick. They can't CPP. I don't know what CPP. Okay. The the cat the brake or the brackets. What do you mean you don't know what CPP? Where did you buy them? eBay. Yeah, eBay sells a lot of. Oh, I know, but I didn't. I thought it was just a whatever guy. Oh no, you got the good shit. Come with stickers, it's all, eh? You gonna put the stickers on? No, hell no. What color are they? They're right there, they're green. Green or blue. I'm gonna put on them in the helmet. Hey, look, I understand. They're on the table, everything's on the table. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are sick. Let me get one for the C10. Go ahead. I'm gonna put one on my helmet. Well, you got a CPP, uh, Lowering Springs, huh? Yeah, obviously. Hey, I don't want you to have a sticker and not have the brand. <laughs> So I'm not gonna go all the way in because I, I gotta take everything off anyway. So let's put on this uh, brake hose, all right? And also this one is for a Camaro, same year as this. 
So it just goes right here. And I'm, I can't put the top on because I don't have a little clip right there. So I can do this side though. So remember when you put these on, crush washer on the back, slip it in, crush washer on the front. Come on. Oi. Oh, man. Oh, I don't want to cover this view. Well, I'll tighten that later, but... When you put this... Can you guys see this? Hopefully I'm not... i turn this... Maybe. Oh, shit! And when you guys are putting this hose, try to keep it away from uh, your A-arm or your control arm, your spring, your uh, bump stop. So what I, uh, once you turn it, you can turn it either way and it'll go that way. So, goes right there. Oh, Mika. <laughs> and that's it, really, look at that. So remember, on the new uh, wheel bearings, grease them all up. Grease hey. the shaft up a little bit so it'll slide in. Hey. Uh, you put this in the hole? Yeah, the caliper comes with new ones. And uh, if you want, you can leave it like this, but it's gonna rust on you if you get water, drive it in the rain, and all that good stuff. And I hate that. So I'm gonna just take it apart, put clear on this. And paint it the right color. <laughs> <laughs> Probably paint it. And uh, yeah, so now I gotta go get some rotor or some brake pads for it because I was, I didn't put on any, I didn't get any. Too excited to put it on. But uh, yeah, that's it. Check it out. Anyway, anyway. And the kit also comes comes with the. What's the on the? The cotter pins for uh, the castle nuts. Nice, because the kit comes with everything. That's what I liked about it. Well, I mean, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Check it out. Everything nicely painted. Rotor. And uh, the only thing it doesn't come with is a dust cap. So make sure you buy some at the parts store or something. I'm going to go get some right now, now that I remember. Just for this rotor? Yeah. So. <sighs> so remember, guys. Do you need to buy two dust caps? Brake pads is a must, and uh, I need to buy some of these little clips that clip on here too. But yeah, there you go. Check it out. That's how you install a CPP disc brake on these uh, drums, on these cars that have drum in the front. Check it out. So nice. All right, so again, CPP, and check it out. For anybody who wants to do this upgrade, 1955 to 58, 1959 to 64, 1965 to 68, Chevrolet car, large caliper bracket. All right, so there it is. Again, that's the part number I got it off of eBay. Get it a little closer. These are all the leftover uh, races that come with these uh, bearings, but you don't need to put them on because the rotor already comes with them. So, yeah, there you go. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and uh, keep watching my videos. Hopefully, there's something that'll interest you. I also uh, work on my 90 sport truck Chevy out there and I'm gonna start recording on my uh, big truck I got a 05 Silverado 2500 so I'm gonna start recording on that one too and also got my little uh, four-door Civic right there that I did
did a video on so yeah keep watching guys thank you